Hi guys, it's Mr. Brandt. It's time for another drawing of the day. Um, because of the weather outside being so cold and yesterday was rainy, um, I think we need to do a drawing that kind of gets us in the mood for spring. So um, we're going to start today by going and turning our paper horizontal and then I'm going to go from the middle of the paper. I'm going to go just a little bit. Now we want to draw a nice size circle. Okay. So we're going to draw it around, draw it nice, shape, circle, oval. It's okay if it's not perfect. And then what I would like to do is at the top, we're going to draw up, over, and down. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to do this all the way around my circle and if you haven't noticed already we are drawing a flower but this is going to be a fun flower so I'm going to go all the way around and you can draw different shape petals if you want if you want them pointier if you want them however you want to decide for your flower and your petal so here we go now I've got my last one we're going to draw some little details in it, so I'm going to go in and do three little lines. A longer one in the middle and two on the side. And I'm kind of angling them a little bit just to give it a little different look. That's up to you how you want to do that. But I'm going to add some little fun details to it. And what's great is this is a picture that you can use some beautiful, awesome colors. There we go. Now, I'm going to go down here below, and I don't want to go clear to the bottom, but right down below my, my actual flower, I'm going to draw kind of a curved line like this, and then I'm going to draw a couple lines that kind of come up and out like that, and oops, I want to make that about the same size. And then I'm going to draw a curved line that goes across the top. It's a little longer on each side. A couple little lines going up and coming down and around. And what's great is this is your flower pot, and you can make this with stripes. If you say, oh, I want a zigzag stripe, just our different types of lines. Maybe I want to add some stripes going up and down, maybe on the edge I want to draw some polka dot you draw whatever you want but just draw it so you can put a lot of cool colors in it now I'm gonna go ahead because we're gonna pretend this is outside so I'm gonna start just up from the flower pot I'm gonna start coming over for a ground but every once in a while I'm gonna do some little zigzags just to add some little grass details to it over and do the same thing on this side just like this okay now we're gonna go in and we're gonna draw our stem so if you could have it straight you can have it curved I'm gonna draw two lines coming down to my flower pot after that we're gonna draw a curved line coming out and then a curved line coming back in and I'm gonna go ahead and draw a vein coming through the middle. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Curve line, curve line, a little vein through the middle. Now, we're going to go in and let's draw our face. So, we're going to go in and we're going to draw two ovals, circles, whatever you want for your flower's shaped eyes. I'm going to draw a little highlight in there and leave that white, color that in. If you want to do eyes with color on it, if you want to make big eyes, small eyes, whatever you want. I just like to add a couple little eyebrows at the top. Now, for this part, I'm going to draw, because I want her to have some rosy cheeks, so I'm going to draw two curved lines like that for her cheeks, and then she is definitely happy because it's spring, so we're going to draw a nice smile. Now, on the outside, I'm just going to add some little details by adding a few little stippling dots just for some details like that 
I'm going to go down to my stem and just add some little lines so that I get that in. Um, and there is our first part, which is the flower. But we're not done yet because there's a lot of very cute things that we can have in there. So we're going to go over to the other side where we're going to draw on this side. I want you to draw a nice circle like this. And once we draw that circle, now I'm going to draw down here an oval or a U-shape, you could say. It's not quite the full oval because it hits the circle. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to draw two little lines up, two little lines up, and then I'm going to draw a little circle on the end like this. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to draw a little stinger because it's going to be a cute little bumblebee. And then the bees have black and yellow, so I'm going to draw some stripes on his body. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to draw one wing. But I'm going to show you something kind of fun to do on the wings. I'm going to draw two wings and then I'm going to go in and add a swirl line. Just like this. So I start right here and I'm just going to go inside the wing. And when I get close, I'm just going to get it smaller. And that gives such a cute little look to the wings of our bumblebee. Then I'm going to go in. Now this one, I'm not going to make my oval straight up and down. I'm going to do kind of a slanted oval. And then I'm going to color it in. And I'm going to do a slanted oval just to give it a little cute, different look to the eye. I kind of almost look sad there. I'm going to make it a little more oval. And then we're going to draw a cute little smile, a couple cheek lines. And I think I'm good. I like my cute little bumblebee. Now we're going to go to this side and we're going to do a little bit different on this. We're going to start with a big kind of a U shape like this because I want some room up here because we're going to draw in that opening. We're going to draw one on the right side oval and one on the left side oval. And then we're going to put little pupils in here. This is our eyeballs. I'm going to draw from the middle. I'm going to come up and do a little swirl at the top. Come up, do a little swirl at the top. And then let's go ahead and finish out by the head by putting a couple little cute cheek lines in a mouth. Okay. Next, we're going to start here and we're going to draw down up and if you want you could add some stripes to it this isn't going to be a bumblebee but this is going to be a cute butterfly so i'm going to start here by the eyes and i'm going to draw a couple big wings now if it hits your flower that's okay you can just make it look like it's going behind and then i'm going to go up here and draw and if it goes off the page that's okay i'm going to draw a couple wings like this now what's great is you can decorate your wings any way you want. If you want some polka dots on it, um, if you want to put a cute heart on the wings, if you want to do stripes, you design your butterfly wings any way you want. I'm going to put some stripes on it, maybe some stripes going down, anywhere that you can put some beautiful, beautiful color because I hope you make these very colorful. There we go. Now... We have completed the spring drawing here, but I might add a few more things, like maybe up in the sky I could put a sun, but I think I'm just going to add in the background, since there's some blank space, I could do some more flowers here, I could do some more um, butterflies or bees, but I might put some little cute clouds in here. I could even add faces to the clouds if I want, and there we have it. Um, hopefully this gets us more in the mood for spring and hopefully that will help it come a little faster. But here is our drawing of the day, um, our cute sp spring flower drawing. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I really want to challenge you to go in and really put some beautiful colors into it. Um, and I hope you have a great, awesome day today. Uh, remember, art is essential.